assalamu alaikum may peace be with you hello and welcome guys uh, in one of my videos i shared with you this mobile stream software to install and uh, configure to use uh, with the peanut lab or eve if you want to use so one of the limitation of this uh, free version is uh, that uh, you can only have uh, maximum 12 sessions you can create um, like uh, over here you can see I want to create uh, uh, I want to create these sessions for uh, this new lab but uh, when I try to create a new session so it doesn't actually creates a new session so if you look at this I want I'm just creating a new session for my one of the router this one so it's uh, the port is the uh, talent port is uh, 30110 so if I do it 30110 and then the IP address of 10 this is my management IP address so if I try to save this let's say Co-op router, which is this router. So if I try to save this and press OK, you will <clears throat> you will notice that it doesn't create a session, a new session. I can try again. So I just want to show share with you that uh, there is one way around that you can do. So one, let me try again if I can cr show you that it doesn't actually create a new session the the limitation is the maximum 12 sessions you can create with a, this uh, uh, free version and uh, let's do it this 30110 and uh, this is corp router so you can see it it did not create a new session it just it doesn't save in your session it just creates a new session you can have the new session here but it does not actually create uh, and save that uh, session in the list so we can close this let's say the issue you will get that uh, uh, like over here you can see I have all of these sessions created and then saved so that you can later whenever you want you are doing the lab so you don't have to recreate the session again for example let's say if I want to create another session for this and I want to save it it doesn't let you save the session here in your favorite list right so the I just wanted to show you the way around that how can you actually create these sessions and uh, save them so right now uh, uh, you can see I have created these different sessions and then they are more or less more than tw 12 so the way around is like you can actually uh, let's say let me just tell you because I have created this these sessions list uh, if I just delete these let's say delete and I'm going to delete this too and now so if I can create this same session again you will see that it will it will let me save it here let's say if I create a new folder and if I say this is my lab 3 this is my SRX lab and uh, now I try to create a new session and uh, tell that 101 
0.145 and the port is again 1301010 and I'm going to name it Cop router and now if I save it you can see it has saved into my list so if I just put it in my lab but before you have seen that uh, it was not let me it wasn't creating this session under my this uh, favorite list of user sessions so the difference is like uh, now it is saved I don't have to create this again let's say I want to create another uh, let's start this router again and let's see what port it is is 30117 let's create another session <coughs> this is one right so if we click OK so it has saved but before I, I was trying to save it but it did not let me create the list so let's say if you experience this uh, then all you need to do is uh, like over here you have created this you can save this as you can export the session from this folder let's say if I export this and then save it as my new lab which is SRX SRX lab sessions and then save it okay so right now I have uh, this save as session so you can see before it was not letting me to create the session now I'm gonna import you can like I have uh, already created these two lists so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna import this yes okay so it has imported in here I can just drag it remove here so this is one and now I'm gonna import the other one import my second lab let's see yes now you can see this way I have all of my sessions right here you got it so now you can see now I have more than my 12 sessions but uh, let's say if I want to create another one let's say if I let's uh, let me create turn on this start and this is my switch let's see what port it is this is 3 111 if I try create another one let's say one and then let's switch switch one and if I save it okay so it has opened the session you have the session but uh, if you close it you will you will like lose the session and uh, it has not saved that in the list but again you can remove all these if I remove all of these let's say I am gonna delete these again delete this folder and delete this folder again and now I have only these sessions and if I just create another session one and save it as my switch let's say switch one okay now you can see it has saved now I can move it here and then if I want to import other folders say yes and 
import the other one to there you go so this is just uh, a little trick which I have learned so I thought it's good to share with you guys so if you experience this issue so now this way like I don't have to recreate my sessions all I can do is let's say I want to go to my site to site VPN lab so I can just literally close my lab close this lab and then go to my site to site VPN lab So you can see this lab is already running, right? So let's say I want to open session ASA. So there you go. I have my ASA session and then to my SRX. This is my PC. I think SRX is still booting. Right, guys, so I hope you like this video, a little trick. So if you like it, please like and share and subscribe to my channel. And I see you with another video. Thank you. Bye.